The Royal Guard are the dedicated group of soldiers who are chosen to guard the royal residences. They're usually selected for the roles from five elite regiments in the British military, but despite the way they've been depicted in movies and such, they're allowed to move, and they do, and they will react to dopes that are being stupid or heckling them. They're trained to be stoic and remain steadfast, even when all of that silliness is going on around them, and so many of them simply don't react because, well, they're at work and you are an idiot. So today, let's look at some of those idiots as they do a whole bunch of stupid stuff to try and irritate the armed soldiers. That seems sensible. Here are 20 inappropriate moments with royal guards. Number 20. Incident on Horse Guards Parade Well, now that people film absolutely everything all the live long day, we have to watch people make complete wallies of themselves in public, as well as the mentally disturbed having trouble on video. Over and over and over again, and that seems to be what's going on here. When a woman stands extremely close to the mounted King's Guardsman, another guard sees the offense, and rather than speaking to the woman about moving back, he marches up to her, stands loomingly close, and aggressively indicates with his body, sword raised, that she should step back. He doesn't speak this request, but when she's not immediately submissive to his authority, he barks, move, in her face, and barges her out of the way. Now call me old-fashioned, but when you need to explain something to a person who may not have all of the faculties, is it really best to use violence and aggressive gestures, or would it actually be much more simple to say clearly in words what you mean? It seems that on this occasion, the woman is either spoiling for a fight or is not in full command of her senses as she seems to retaliate when the guard shoves her. The outraged crowd murmur in hushed tones that she hit a guard, but what do you think about all of this? Is this an appropriate way for a guardsman to behave? And does it demonstrate the dignity of the office? Or perhaps the protection of the public, even the annoying ones, should be at least marginally more important than asserting one's power especially if you happen to be armed with a ruddy great big sword. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. It seems totally real, I know. This, allegedly, is an image in which a woman has donned her best outfit to stand in front of a royal guard and try and coax him out of his box. It is most likely a whole load of nonsense, but you know, the internet. Here we are, and there she is. But what do you think about this? And why are people so excited to try and distract guards who are just doing their job? It seems weird and really dumb, but then people are usually kind of weird and dumb. Anyways, is it real or is it fake? And does anyone really give a shiz? As always, you can comment down below using the hashtag fancy topic and let me know what you think in relation to what you just saw on the screen. Number 19. Man takes off his shirt. Next up, we have more footage from a horse guards parade, where this time we're looking at a man who is clearly under the influence of some or perhaps many intoxicating substances. To begin with, the man ambles up to the horse and seems to be somewhat enamored by the magnificent creature. These horses are certainly extremely impressive animals who are both beautiful and imposing, and you can likely imagine that a person who is feeling, well, a sense of euphoria might be drawn to touch them. And so he does. The first mounted guard sits unflustered as the inebriated man fondles the horse's nose. The horse as well remains calm, but the man is evidently not a threat. He's just an idiot. Then he moves on to the next guard and seems to be involved in what might be classed as dancing in some circles. He takes his jacket off and dances bare-chested for a while in front of the guards and the cops at the gate. Nobody pays him much attention. He's evidently not a threat, he's just off his head. And then he gathers his jacket and strolls off to presumably dance at some other London landmark. Number 18. Windsor Castle Guard Gets Grumpy 
Now we're at Windsor Castle, the royal residence in the county of Berkshire. It was originally built all the way back in the 11th century and has been occupied by a reigning monarch since Henry I. He was king from 1100 to 1135. It's been built on and has had bits added over the centuries. Even during the English Civil War, it was used as a military headquarters for the parliamentary forces and they kept the imprisoned Charles I here until his execution. After the restoration of the monarchy in 1660, Charles II had most of the castle rebuilt and made extra fancy. It's now still a royal residence and also a tourist attraction. So that's why this video shows a bunch of people standing outside of it. It's evidently a busload of kids on some sort of school trip or exchange program or something. They're standing around aimlessly watching the guard as he stomps up and down and puts on a bunch of theatrics for the crowd. The kid seems to be finding him kind of funny. I mean, they are kids and he is essentially ridiculous. And they're laughing, much to the dismay of the person taking the footage. But anyways, after a bit, the guard either loses his rag or just begins showing off a bit more and he yells at the kids to get off the rope. which frankly, they were not really on in the first place. But since this aggressive soldier has a massive gun, they oblige. Is this theater or is it genuine behavior? Should heavily armed representatives of the military be acting this way toward a bunch of children? What do you think? Let's get entangled in a nonsense argument full of nationalism and jingoistic language down below, shall we? Number 17. Guard Falls Down even though we seem to have cultivated an idea that royal guards are somehow on a higher level and are not allowed to show emotions or even be remotely human, they do sometimes accidentally let the veil slip for a moment and their humanity leaks out just a little bit. Like in this video, where we're watching the changing of the guard or some other guard-based nonsense at Buckingham Palace in London. This is a royal residence in London and has been the main administrative headquarters of the monarchy in the UK for hundreds of years. The guards here are usually from one of the five foot guards regiments of the household division and they are the ones who will stomp around and stand in the sentry boxes and all of that royal palace guarding junk that you've come to expect. They will stand for up to two hours on sentry duty and then four hours off and they come to attention at intervals of 10 minutes and slope arms. Then they march a bit in four or five repetitions before halting, shouldering their arms and standing at ease. It's quite a fandango, but presumably helps the soldier to remain awake when they're just standing there bored to tears for hours on end. The whole show is watched constantly by tourists that shuffle by and take the obligatory video of the marching about bit, and that's unfortunate for this particular guardsman, as when he steps forward to switch it all about, he slips sideways and tanks it onto the sidewalk below. He looks somewhat embarrassed by the whole thing and smiles sheepishly as he gathers himself and then stomps around in formation again. We are apparently easily amused by almost nothing at all now, aren't we? Number 16. Royal Guard Faints at Buckingham Palace Next up, we have a bit of footage taken by some tourist types as they watch royal guards stomping about at Buckingham Palace. As they're standing still in formation, one of the guards suddenly falls forwards and collapses. Within a few moments, the ones behind do a standing at ease move and step forward to extract their fellow soldier. They lift him up off the ground and kind of drag him off towards a couple of other waiting guards. And then, as if almost nothing had even happened, they all replace the gaps in the formation and carry on with the official business of stomping around. This may have shocked people watching on this occasion, but fainting is actually incredibly commonplace amongst the guards. Not only are their crazy uniforms heavy, but unbearably hot in the summertime, and they're also required to stand completely still for very long periods of time. This can put enormous strain on both the body and the mind and causes soldiers to faint more regularly than you might first imagine. Now, royal guards are actually taught to faint to attention, they are supposed to faint forwards and not grab onto anything to try and keep themselves upright. They're also supposed to fall whilst gripping their rifle. The discipline and training means that when they do faint, many of the guards do still follow this protocol and fall on their faces, often breaking their noses and even knocking out some teeth. Wow, <laughs> what a fun one. Number 15. Horse has a moment. 
They say in show business to never work with children or animals, and perhaps this next clip tells you why that's probably a sensible guideline, even amongst the highly trained. This is a bit of video that was taken by a couple of spectators at the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Parade in London. It shows a guardsman on horseback hurtling by in a surprising, rather rapid manner. The horse, it seems, was spooked by something. Perhaps all of the loud noises and marching band music and massive crowds of people. Who could possibly say? It takes off running, and the rider, however, seems well-trained, and although likely surprised by the sudden speed, seems to have their wits about them enough to let the horse move through how it wants. The soldier does, however, drop his sword, probably so as to be able to take better control of the reins, and the horse knocks over another soldier and sends him flying. He gets up, though, and seems to not have sustained any injuries. Who knows what really happened next? Number 14. King's Guard Falls Down Yes, now we have another video of another guard falling over. It's like there's a special niche of perverts out there who just love to see these armed people falling down all over the show. So this is the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace in London. This is a regular ceremonial event that takes place every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at the Buckingham Palace forecourt. This is a ceremony in which a whole lot of stomping about takes place and a marching band does a bit of stomping as well. It happens at 10.45 a.m and the handover of duties happens at 11, and the event itself goes on for quite a bit longer, what with all the ceremony and such like taking its time. So this is a bit of film taken at one such event. It shows the Royal Guard marching down the mall and towards the gates of the palace, and then after an interminably long time has elapsed, they finally arrive at the gates and begin to march on inside. That's when one of the guards falls over, and that's about it. He simply falls down, and then he gets back up, and the marching goes on. The end. It really is a thrill a minute here today at the Fancy Banana now, isn't it? Number 13. Yes, more stupid nonsense. Here we are again at the guards parade, and yet again there are a lot of dopey people standing around having their pictures taken with the guards. And yes, yet again, there is the same guy filming everything that's going on and on and being completely scandalized by people's behavior. This is another group of kids, probably a foreign exchange party or a bunch of students on a trip. But anyways, they all stand around in the cold gray London street and wait their turn for their pictures with the mounted guardsman. The horse that is being photographed seems to be rather uncomfortable with the proximity of the posing people and begins to push its muzzle towards them in a back it up kind of gesture. But these are dopey kids and one of them bats the horse on the nose to try and get it to stop. But then she does it again and then again. Now, the guard does that really cringy yelling thing and then another guard comes with a sword and yells some more. And then quite dramatically, they go and get a couple of heavily armed police to come and stand there and look all menacing. I mean, I don't whack horses in the face, but this yelling stuff is just kind of ridiculous, I think. Number 12. Read the sign. All day long, people arse about in front of these horses. They're tolerant to an extent, but frankly, it gets pretty wearing at times. And these are not cute and friendly touchy-feely equines. These are working horses, and they take their jobs quite seriously. So that's probably why there's a massive and very clear sign hanging on the wall beside the horse that says in no uncertain terms, beware, horses may kick or bite, thank you. <laughs> well, it doesn't take a whole lot of interpretation, really, does it? Just stop it. Leave the animals alone. Stop standing next to them. They are at work and they are not there to take selfies with you. End of lecture. But even so, there is a kind of perverse enjoyment in watching people who get a taste of what that sign means. In this video, there are moments when the horse bites people, and a particularly memorable bit when it steps on a woman's foot. The horse, it's not a toy. Show it some respect, please. Number 11. Guard Getting Annoyed Here we are again with that same scandalized guy who goes around and stares at guards all day just waiting for someone to do something out of line so that he can feign shock about it and then go and post it on the old tubes of you for everyone to see how clever he is 
<laughs> so this time, he has filmed another tourist who is having their picture taken in front of a guard. This one has a sword and it's all very shiny and exciting. If you happen to like that sort of thing, the kid in the frame is being kind of gross and being egged on by the picture taker, so he just keeps posing in a sort of lewd way. Then the guard seems to get annoyed and stomps off in the military fashion with a lot of bluster and posturing. The next thing you know, there's a heavily armed police officer entering the scene and telling people that they can't do that sort of thing in front of a soldier. And that's it. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm just clutching my pearls in horror at the behavior of the youth of today, aren't you? Number 10. Guard Protects His Box Next up, we have a royal guard at Windsor Castle who is feeling a tad bit territorial, and yet another tourist who has stepped over the mark. What a shock! This boring video shows a woman trying to pose for a picture in front of the guard's box outside of Windsor Castle. The guard is currently stomping off in the opposite direction on some sort of show of patrol or whatever it is that they do as the woman is edging towards the box. The person apparently taking the photo is encouraging the woman to get into the box for her pose, and as she steps back, the guard clocks what she is doing and does a frankly ridiculous and super fast march back towards the offending woman. He then yells, because of course he does, to get out of the box, and she scampers away fully chastised, and it's embarrassing on all counts. Number 9. Guard Pushes Tourist Apparently, soldiers in the Royal Guard are automatons. This particular robot was doing his marching so seriously that he was neither stopping nor warning anyone that he was not going to stop. <laughs> Jeez. So yeah, the woman in this video is also a jerk. She is standing in a place behind a line to have her picture taken and seemingly oblivious of the do's and don'ts of Royal Palace etiquette or whatever. But this guardsman, well, he's also a jerk and he continues marching in a dead straight line and hits the woman with his swinging arm with such force that she is then sent flying. It is an embarrassment to everyone involved, and frankly, there is not really a reason that he could not shout. These royal guards do love to shout, I mean, or perhaps just stop or even go around her. The act of aggression that he chose, army training or not, is distinctly not necessary in a scenario like this. I mean, if this was a child or a person with a disability, as she may have been since not all disabilities are visible, what could have been the outcome? As it is, this woman probably left with a bruise and only bad things to say about her trip to Windsor Castle. Number 8. More Bad Behavior Now we have another instance of a tourist being an idiot. It makes no sense, but here we are. This video seems to capture the moment after a woman throws her glove at one of the royal guards at the Tower of London. Why she does it is a complete mystery. This guard, unlike others that we have seen, is not yelling at people or aggressively stomping about and shouting, so what this is about is really kind of weird. The woman has clearly thrown her glove at him and then she's sort of just left standing there looking like a wally and also completely unable to retrieve the glove. Some people speak to her about it being an inappropriate thing to do, and then a yeoman warder from the Tower of London comes over and speaks to the woman about how the soldier is just doing his job protecting the tower and the crown jewels that are kept inside. He explains that it's not suitable to throw things at the guards, although that should be a given, since this is not an appropriate thing to do to anyone, and then he retrieves her glove, the end. Number 7. These Royal Guards Are Armed Although you might have seen Royal Guards in the movies, you know, stuff like Paddington, you should probably be aware that the real ones are generally not cheerful cockney chaps who are happy to share a sandwich with you. You, my friend, are not a cute and small bear with charm. You are a charmless moron who seems to think themselves to be entitled enough to take the mickey out of everyone, and no one likes a smart arse. And so, when this idiot decides to mess about with a soldier just doing his job, it did not end well. These guys are guarding stuff, even if they are a bit ridiculous and over the top about it, and you do not have any right whatsoever to touch whoever you like or make fun of anyone. This idiot gets a shock when he touches the guard as he appears to be trying to be funny or something, and the guard reacts in a way that you might expect, yelling at the dope. 
Oh, and remember, these are armed guards. And so he points his weapon, which is a bayonet mounted on a gun, at the offender. It kind of makes sense. Number 6. Don't feed the horses. Back again at Horse Guard's palace, and yet again we have a dope that not only wants to do something that's not allowed, he then wants to have a massive argument with all the armed police about it. So it seems that this man, who appears to be drinking a large-sized adult beverage, has decided to feed some sweets to a royal horse that is on duty guarding the palace. It's not really a brilliant idea, and you should never do this. You should never feed a horse random things anyways, but especially not when that horse belongs to a flipping king and has a million armed guards to protect it. Now, the guy feeds the horse, and the police step in to ask him to stop doing that. Hey, mate, stop feeding them, please. Stop, stop feeding them. That is the moment to say, all right, and then leave. However, the guy is more intent on winning his argument, which is incoherent. A word of advice though, there is no winning when it comes to arguing with a heavily armed police force. They will likely arrest you, and then you will live to regret trying to win. This guy is lucky to have gotten away with it. Number 5. Slapped Next up we have another nonsense encounter in which an entitled idiot thinks that it's okay to invade a person's space, even though that person is just doing their job. This is a video which may or may not be real. I don't actually know that a guard would stand there in that way, nor do I know where this is supposed to be, but then again, I actually couldn't give a monkeys either. So this idiot is dancing about in front of a soldier, real or otherwise, and is being a proper nuisance. And after he leers in his face, touches him, and then dances around, the soldier has had enough and smacks the guy up around the side of the head. It's a very brief video that only lasts a couple of seconds, so who knows what actually happens next. What do you think may have occurred? Go on and have all the opinions about it in the comments section down below. Number 4. Don't touch. Now honestly, there is a massive sign that says do not touch the reins. This is not rocket science. What is wrong with people? But really, what is wrong with the guy that seems to stand there all day, every single day, just filming everyone else doing stupid stuff to the king's horses? I mean, seriously, this guy is doing this all the live long day, and he still gets all righteous about it every single time? I mean, geez, the entire thing is just dumb. Stop touching the horses. They clearly don't enjoy it, and they are working. So are the guards. And they're not just there for tourists to take photos with. But that is what we have to keep watching over and over and over again. And again, the offender is approached by police. It's an absolute thrill a minute. Number 3. Nonsense. Next up, we have a bunch of comedians doing some nonsense to allegedly perform a so-called social experiment. So the premise seems to be to put a guy in a poorly fitting fake soldier's uniform in front of places. There is a clue to the inauthenticity of the guy. He has no weapon, he has no allocated space, and his bearskin hat is perched on his head in a way that no soldier would ever wear it. But anyways, people seem to be into this and some think that it's real. The next bit involves another joker coming along and instigating some sort of fake contrition which then escalates quickly. And in one video, he even winds up in some sort of bottled and laying on the ground pose as if unconscious. This freaks all the people out. There are other videos in which the fake guard rolls around on the ground in a fist fight with the offender. But seriously, it's just really, really stupid. Is it even actually funny? Is this why people go around trying to upset the guards everywhere? I mean, what do you think of these useless shenanigans? Go on and let all your comments out in the section down below. I know you want to. Number 2. Yes, this is another one. Well, you can't really accuse me of being original, that's for sure. This is another of these fake videos in which the same set of jokers go out onto the streets of London to try and trick passers-by and tourists into thinking that something dangerous and absolutely terrible is taking place. Now, I'm just gonna say that although they may think they're being funny, they are quite literally risking life and limb in a country where the climate is so heightened that stuff like this in public could actually land you in more than hot water. Hopefully they have ceased this insane stupidity and realized that they are all really not funny and gone home feeling ashamed of themselves. 
number one. And yet again. And finally, we have another fake video. This is yet another video in which the phony royal guard is pretending to do some stuff to an offensive member of the public. In this one, we are being asked to believe that the guard has knocked the idiot out with one punch. I mean, boom, unconscious. Kind of a shame that it's fake though. But then again, there's no weapon. And even though all the shouting and stuff is silly, the royal guards generally don't just go around punching people. Even the annoying ones, unfortunately. Except apparently if you get in the way of their marching, and then they punch the heck out of you. But apparently, accidentally on purpose. This video, however, is just useless rubbish. Well, that's all from the extremely boring world of standing still and guarding over privileged leeches as they sit around in their palaces drinking tea, or really whatever it is that the royal family does. Which of these videos shocked you the most? Go on and let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on your screen, and I will see you next time.